a boiler is a closed vessel in which water is heated. In power plants, boilers heat water until it becomes steam which is used to drive steam turbines. Before learning about how boilers work in power plants thoroughly, you must understand the parts of a power plant's boiler first. The main component of the boiler at a power plant are Fuel silos Fuel silos are coal fuel storage containers where coal will be channeled to the bottom of the boiler to be burned. Hot cyclones Hot cyclone is a device to remove particulates on hot gas from coal combustion without using a filtration mechanism, but through a vortex separation mechanism. Superheater and or reheater Superheater is an arrangement of pipes in the boiler that is used to convert saturated steam or wet steam into superheated steam or dry steam by absorbing heat from hot coal combustion gases that have very high temperatures. Reheater is an arrangement of pipes in the boiler that is used to raise again the temperature of the steam coming out of the turbine because the temperature of the hot gas that is passed through the superheater is still quite high. This steam is then flowed into a low pressure turbine. Economizer Economizer is an arrangement of pipes at the end of the hot gas flow in the boiler that serves to heat the feed water entering the boiler. Next is steam drum. Steam drum is a temporary steam storage container in boilers. The steam drum serves to separate the phase of water carried by steam. Boilers work by transferring heat from the flow of hot gases due to the coal combustion process. This heat is absorbed by the water that comes from the steam condensation process that comes out of the turbine. To understand how a boiler works, you have to know about flow of hot gas from the coal burning process and the flow of feed water to steam process. These two flows occur in the boiler simultaneously. We will explain the flow of hot gas from the coal combustion process first. The coal to be burned is stored in the fuel silo near to the boiler. The coal that come out of the silo will undergo a grinding process into small granules using pulverizer. These fine coal granules are sent to the bottom of the boiler. The coal granules are then burned and become a hot gas which called flue gas. This flue gas then go to the hot cyclone first, where dust particulates from coal burning process is being separated. Flue gas particulates that have a heavy mass will be pushed out due to the centrifugal force of air rotation. Particulate free hot air will rise to the top of the cyclone, while the particulate matter then drops to the bottom of the cyclone. Particulates that go down to the bottom of the cyclone are then channeled again to the bottom of the boiler to be burned again because it is a grain of coal that has not been fully burned. Particulate free flue gas is flowed to the top of the hot cyclone and then passes through the heating units in the boiler. The heating units in the boiler is a unit of pipes that contain feed water consisting of a superheater, reheater, and economizer. The particulate free gas flue then flows first to the superheater, then to the reheater, and to the economizer. 
the heat present in the hot gas flue is absorbed by the heating unit so that the temperature becomes lower and lower. Meanwhile, the feed water in the heating unit's pipe increases and becomes steam which is then flowed to the turbine. The flue gas is then released through the chimney. Next, we will explain the flow of water from the steam condensation process coming out from the turbine. The steam that comes out of the turbine will condense and become water. This water is then pumped to the boiler and called feed water. This feed water then flows into the economizer pipe. The hot coal burning gas that flows through the economizer has a cooler temperature because the heat has been absorbed by the previous superheater and or reheater section. This hot gas heats the feed water in the economizer but does not reach the boiling point of the feed water. The heated feed water then flows into the steam drum. In the steam drum, feed water gathers at the bottom of the drum and then flows through brown pipes under the drum. These brown pipes are the pipes that make up the walls of the boiler. So the sides of this boiler are the arrangement of these brown pipes. The feed water in the boiler wall pipes then absorbs heat from the hot gas from coal combustion. This feed water then boils and becomes saturated steam or wet steam. This saturated steam or wet steam is then flowed back to the top of the steam drum. In the steam drum, saturated steam or wet steam undergoes phase separation where water carried by saturated steam and wet steam will fall and gather at the bottom of the steam drum to be heated back into the brown pipe while drier steam is flowed out of the steam drum to the superheater. Inside the superheater pipe, this dry steam absorbs heat from the hot gas of burning coal into superheated steam. This superheated steam is then flowed to drive a high-pressure turbine. That's all about explaining how boilers work in power plants. Sorry if there is a slight mistake. Support me by clicking like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my video.